And hello everybody, I'm back about the absolute bottom line about the Rashad structure being in Atlantis. I have an overheating phone here, so I'm going to make this very quick. There are two individuals in Atlantis. Oh, okay, great, now my tripods. Okay, when we do live streams, this happens. So now I'm going to readjust the camera real quick. Sorry about that. Sheesh! Can't have any good luck around here. As I mentioned, my phone's overheating, and I think it's going to blow up. If this happens live stream, that'll be rad. That'll be rad. Okay, so back to this. We've got Indie Archaeology. He's already gone to the Rakat structure and, and come back. And we've also got this other guy named Josh Sigurdsson. Sounds like he's saying Josh Series, and then I saw it written here. So Sigurdsson. Uh, anyways, he's he's there now. In fact, that's a picture of the center of the Rashad structure, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see the things that are actually um, in the maps. You can see them. Let's. I don't want to watch too much of it. Um, I'm going to turn off the, the audio and we'll just watch a little bit of it. And you can see the things, the circle of buildings and these, these center built rocks are very interesting to me. So now World Alternative Media hasn't actually put out his main video yet he's just put out this teaser but I can tell you right now and I, I, I just there we go I want to just get that one rock in the shot and then we'll see oh look there's a truck with the hood open interesting there's one thing I wanted to see here which I thought was really cool because I've never seen this up close I've been wanting to forever and I will turn off this closed captions at this point just to get those out of the way YouTube has been really a pain in my butt lately. Not just YouTube, but my smartphone. Smartphone is really giving up on it. So, okay, right about... Oh, where is it? I only watched this once, and he this is a teaser for a future video. So I think what he's trying to do is get people to sign up on the Patreon. He already has 20,000 views. He's got 125,000 subscribers. You have that kind of subscription or subscribership, you're going to definitely be making enough money to be able to pay for trips like that. Now, as I probably have already mentioned, I only have 4,000 subscribers on my channel. And, okay, so I don't see it, and I'm not going to keep playing this. It's right about... Oh, where did it go? Well, anyways, I'm going to give up on that. He's walking... Oh, there we go, that thing. That, that group of rocks right there. You can see that. Okay, let's watch a little more of that. You can see that little bunch of rocks from Google Maps, Google Earth. It's a little tiny circle. I kind of am curious. Now it's already gone. So, okay, I'm unable to charge. See, I told you my phone's breaking on me. Thank you for telling me that you love this information. Uh, welcome from Maricopa, Arizona. Cube Nix Productions, thank you. Oh, my phone is overheating and now it's not charging. I wouldn't call it an outcropping. Okay, so um, going back, the one that I'm really not happy with is Indie Archaeology, because he already left, and I've already talked to him about this, and he only has nine subscribers. Uh, is that possible to only have nine subscribers and be doing videos like this? So I do encourage you to go over there and subscribe to the guy. The guy went to the circles. But what the thing is, is that, um, and I didn't know he was going, otherwise I would have communicated, but what I'm upset about is that and he already responded, so we're going to give him another chance. It's not like he just... He actually wants to go back in the next, I think he said, 30 days. Indie archaeology. All right, this is my point. Thank you for your comment. This is my point. <clears throat> yeah, that's one thing right there. He didn't go to the castle. He didn't go over there. Why didn't he do that? He didn't look. I'm not going to go through this whole video. It's 40 minutes, but he's, he goes to the center also, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he didn't catch the buildings. He went to a lot of vendors and he bought a lot of uh, artifacts. But nobody went to the castle. But more importantly, because I'm already under the impression that the castle is really just a, um, a, 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 a fort. An old, maybe Spanish, or maybe um, after the Spanish. It's a fort of some type. And there were a bunch of them made. And I'd like to know more about those. I'd like to know the history of those forts. So somebody should get that information. But the other thing that I'm 
really mad about is the actual uh, down on the ground canals that I did in my video. I'm going to go to the maps and I'll just show you directly, but I did a video on this. So if suddenly my phone goes off because it's overheating, yeah, and where do you dig? Where do you dig? So the place that you're going to go have to dig is right over here to these. What, what happened? I thought I just hit, I just thought I hit ca uh, maps. Let me try that one more time. See, this is the way I want to do my videos, but if I have overheating phones and I have bad reception, and by the way, I do wonder how good the reception is. Because the last time I did one of these, the reception messed up. Okay, here I am in Taiwan, so i got to back out. I'm just going to back right out now before we start using up all that memory. I'm going to start creeping over, creeping over towards Africa. And then we can zoom right into this. But there are canals. There are ancient canals. The one that I think that somebody should go straight to, which is past the concentric circles from Nakshat. If you're going to go there. Oh, I'm back. I'm sorry. You know what? Somebody called me on Skype. And it, it interrupted the stream. So I got a lot to be angry about. Um, okay. So we're going in to look at this canal. Thank you for saying. I got back in just before. I, I it it didn't it didn't. I mean, it sometimes asks me like five minutes later whether I want to continue. Thank you for your thumbs up. Okay, so here we are at the eye, and I'm gonna finish this obviously because technology is really kicking my butt. Uh, but here we can see a bunch of old canals that seem to be going around this uh, peninsula of land, although there's no ocean there, but I think there may have been either water, um, but if not a uh, body of water, there were canals. This line here seems to be some type of a canal. This line here, this circular one does, and there's one more right here that you can see, and that's the one I want people to go check out. I mean, look at that. It looks like the California aqueduct right here. And I showed this in my previous video, so just go over there and check it out. Ancient canals leading to Atlantis. This canal looks totally man-made, and it's buried in sand, and you can only see a portion of it, but you can kind of follow it down out to here, and you've got a series of old canals. There's another one over here that seem to be going towards from one side to the other. There's a line there that's clearly some type of a filled canal. Those are the biggest mysteries to me. Okay, um, keep getting messages that I'm unable to charge because I use a cable that uh, obviously failed on me. I just want to mention one more canal that's down here that I think will link, will prove that you could link ancient waterways to the Senegal River and this entrance here. Yes, I believe that there were two entrances, one right here. I believe there was one right here. I believe there was a river that came out right here called the Tamar and Siret River, which you can still clearly see this in. It's an ancient like the Nile, large river that was exiting Africa from the north side. We still have the Senegal that's still a, a pretty big river. Both of those rivers were accessible to the concentric circles. This is what we need to be focusing on. If we're going to go there and do all this, there it is. So check out this line right here. Now, right now it's uh, basically one, two, three, uh, more than 10 kilometers long. It's a straight line. I'm pretty sure that's it. If that's not it, then it's another one that looks just like it. But you can see that this was literally this long canal carved into the desert. Check out my other video because I don't want this to go any longer. I'm down to 13%. Guys, thank you for four thumbs up. I'm really happy about that. I'll continue to add tags to this video. If you ask any questions down below, I will link. Please share this video with your friends because I'm not making money off of YouTube. I have a goal to make $25 in one week on YouTube. That's my goal. So please help me reach my goal. Thank you very much. Yep, it's a cool find. You have to thank Michelle for that. She was the one that pointed it out to me, Michelle Chen. She's got a lot of comments on my videos. It goes right down to a water and it's still not close to the Senegal River, but I down below there are a bunch of other small possible canals. So I think what they did was they had an ancient, um, there was other Senegal that have since dried up. You can kind of see that. I'll go back out so you can see that. 
So that line goes down here. You can kind of see it curving and then meeting this line. And then you've got a bunch of ancient like waterways down here. There's also a lot of uh, tumuli, uh, uh, the, the other things I've put in my videos. Have a great day. But the bottom line on the Atlantis is if you go there, don't just walk around in the center because you can't dig. You know, the government's not going to give you permission to dig. So instead, you've got to look at what's already showing. And also, I didn't even mention the what I call the temples on the east side. Look at the megalith structures uh, in... I have two videos, an update, and there's megaliths in the Rashad, megaliths in Atlantis. It's a, it's a hinge. It's bigger than Stonehenge. That's what you should be looking at. Nobody went there. Nobody went to the castles. Nobody went to the triangles, the, the circles that look like old columns. Nobody went to any of these places. So let's hope that World Alternative Media does a better job. Let's see what he actually puts out there instead of his teaser. I don't know if I'm going to pay for it if he asks for money, but uh, I definitely want to find out. Somebody's going to pay for it. We're going to see it soon. I'll probably end up paying for it if nobody else does. Talk to you again soon. I, I'm going to read your comments. I only have 11%. And if my friend calls me back on Skype, I, I'm not there. I'm not there. Raccoon. <laughs> I like the way Raccoon Residence found the video that I just did called Zombie Raccoons, right? She probably found me that way. The remains on Atlantis are just rock and some castles. Should the rest of the remains be underwater next to Atlantis or other oceans? Yeah, Graham Hancock says we need to check our continental shelves. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Let's see. I can't see. Prism says they need to dig. Well, there you go. My friend called back. They cut me off again, but I saved it. And here we are still here. And that's it. Oh, the caves to the north of the eye. I did not see caves to the north of the eye. If you're talking about the ones that are kind of built into the large Atlas Mountains, I think you're talking about the... Um, yeah, but by the way, guys, this is it. The next time it cuts off, I'm out because my phone's down to 5%. I need to change the charging location. I don't have a cord long enough. Um, you're talking about this cave, I presume, right there. I wouldn't really call that a cave. It's just in the dark shadow. There are some interesting things here. There's also a canal up here. That's it, guys. My friend's trying to get a hold of me. He's relentless. I wish he would just check and see that I'm live streaming right now. That's okay. It's Fwad from yesterday's videos. Have a great day, guys. It's daytime here. It's 1140. It's almost noon.